love it. Hi friends, Alicia here, your creator and host of AMA TV. And today I have a slightly different video topic for you. It's not your typical travel adventure video, or is it a discussion about video production gear? Rather, I am very excited to show you this new carry-on configuration that I have put together for travel as well as an entire new luggage set that I bought. It's not very often that I buy new luggage or switch up my configuration because it's very important to me to keep everything kind of solid for my travel ritual, but I have decided to change things, so we're gonna talk about it. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I would be delighted to have you do so, and if you already have, hey there, I love you guys. Now, let's get started. To start out, we're gonna go back in time, just a little bit, just a few months ago, um, and I'm gonna show you what I used to carry for my carry-on. I used to carry this rolling laptop bag. Um, this one is by London Fog. I really, I really just can't do normal, so I didn't want like a black rolling laptop bag like every other business person has. So I really like the brown and the gold. It's not the most high quality bag, um, but it's been awesome. It's held up pretty well. It's getting pretty beat up, but I have dragged it around the world for like several years now. Gosh, we need to do something. You would think that because you can have one carry-on piece and one personal item that this would be my carry-on piece, but no, this is my personal item. And it's kind of a stretch, I always knew that, but I got away with it for so, so long because my carry-on piece was this gigantic backpack, not a small one, like a pretty big one. One that I could definitely put like my pillow, my camera gear a lot of the times, some clothes, just anything I was like afraid of losing if I did lose my checked luggage. And that would be what went in the overhead bin. Now, I swear in the past two years or so, these domestic flights have gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. Everyone's always like, how do you handle the long, you know, long haul international flights? And I swear, international flights are 10 times more comfortable. The seats are bigger, there's in-flight entertainment, there's food, there's free alcohol, there's all kinds of stuff. It's the domestic flights, the East Coast to West Coast, East Coast to West Coast, which I'm always doing. That is super frustrating. And I started to realize that this bag was no longer fitting underneath of the seat in front of me. It used to always fit. Um, and I always fly in the aisle. So on the aisle seat on a lot of United planes, for some reason there's like this bar that would kind of like restrict the space just in that seat. So I would get stuck having to put this in the overhead bin as well, which I don't wanna do because I want easy, quick access to everything in this bag. So anyway, I started thinking that maybe it was time to switch to a laptop backpack. I knew a laptop backpack would be kind of more similar in size to this. But then I was like, okay, I guess I could just be like a normal person, just get a normal carry-on piece that would go in the overhead and then have the backpack underneath. So the search for the perfect backpack began. I scoured amazon.com and compared every single backpack that I saw on there, every single pocket in it, envisioned how I would be holding things, um, how I might also do kind of like day trips around the city when I was traveling. So I found this bag, it is by Ooh bag or maybe you bag and it had great reviews I could tell it was kind of like one of those water resistant uh, sheens and it comes in I think this was called coffee of course I will put a link to this bag and everything I talk about on here in the video description below so check it out if you want to check the price for a bag like this it also comes in black and I think like gray um, but either way the best part about this bag is the configuration of pockets, and I will show you why. There's this entire pocket here, which is wide enough to hold clothing, snacks, electronics. There's all these little pockets back here. I've got some hard drives in there right now. Pens, pencils. I mean, I really haven't even gotten to the depths of using half of these pockets. Oh no, actually, this would be where the pens go. Um, and probably just like any paperwork you have, and it's pretty, Pretty good depth on that as well. And then there's this little slot in the front that offers like easy hidden access to what I figured would be the best place to stick my iPhone. So if I were carrying this around a city and I didn't wanna have a purse on me, I could have the backpack on, easily sling it around, just reach in and get my phone. Now, if you're thinking about theft, that's what makes this bag so genius. It is an anti-theft backpack. So you're probably like, okay, you're gonna shove a bunch of clothes in this part, where the heck is your laptop gonna go? Oh, let me show you. It seems a little bit awkward, but when you flip this bag around and then kind of flip these over, there is this brilliant padded spot for your laptop to slide into. And then finally, there is another anti-theft pocket 
where you can put your cash, your passport, you know, anything that's like really important um, to keep right against your back. It's almost as good as an anti-pickpocket belt. So these things are important when you travel and overall it's a really nice construction, it's a really nice size, and most importantly it fits under the seat, under the aisle seat, on United Planes quite nicely. I flew recently with it for the first time and tried it out and I thought it was great. But of course I wanted to maximize my carry-on luggage capacity just in case I was on one of those trips where I just really needed as much space as possible. So I started shopping online for a carry-on suitcase, just a traditional rolling carry-on suitcase that you see most people have. I wanted something that, you know, kind of looked the same as my old London Fog did with the golds and the neutral tones and also matched this backpack. So, I mean, it's not like it's a perfect match, but generally, generally, I think it works. It works for me and it, you know, it's kind of like the neutral tones will kind of go with anything I'm wearing. I mean, I'm really not this huge fashionista, fashionista, but I like things to match and I like to visually just become happy and excited when I look at my luggage. So when I saw these online, I was like, oh, gorgeous. And they kind of have this like vintage luggage look. They are by Diane von Furstenberg, who is a dress designer. Um, you know, these luggage pieces aren't super rugged. They're kind of more meant to be pretty, but they're definitely durable. They're definitely expensive, but I found this website that has the best deals on discount luggage. So I will put a link to it. And of course, if this isn't your style, there are so many nice looking pieces of luggage and definitely stuff for guys. I mean, look at this one. This is awesome. I think this would go with like any like dude outfit kind of like overall look. I actually almost got this one. It's by Anne Klein. It kind of has that same like browns and gold tones that I like so much. The inside of it looks really, really nice. And then there's a lot of really cool looking Tommy Bahama luggage, which I was also considering. But I went back around to the Diane von Furstenberg and I really decided that I wanted this carry-on piece. This carry-on piece was really all I was intending to buy. And then I realized that I could actually get the entire luggage set for not much more. I mean, it's just a really great value to just get it all at once. And then they had this coupon code for like 30% off. So I ended up getting all of this for like $200 and free shipping. So they literally just dropped it off at my house. And um, yeah, it's gorgeous. I was between this color and this color. I literally could not decide. I liked this one that I have a little bit better, but I thought the other one would match my backpack a little bit better. And I was just like, either way, I'm crazy for <laughs> being so particular about it. I mean, really your luggage is about ease of use and how well the wheels work and how well it holds up and that sort of thing. But I mean, as you can see, the wheels work great. You know, this works, this works great. I'm beating it up already. Now you can see that this luggage is lightweight. I left the sticker on this one um, because when I was first looking at it, I thought it might be like extra heavy. I was like, well, if it's this fancy luggage, maybe it's not very practical. Um, but I looked up the weight of the biggest piece. This is the biggest piece. And then I compared it with like the Samsonite and like the, you know, more standard like luggage brands. And I think this was 11 pounds and that's the same as everything else I found, if not lighter. So it is, lightweight. I mean, there's nothing in here right now and it's, it's definitely not hard to handle at all. I left the tag on this one. It says this piece alone was $400. Of course, a lot of these designer pieces are kind of meant to be marked down. That's just how the game works. But I mean, that's cool that this would have gone for $400. And then there's five-year warranty against manufacturer's defects. Sounds good to me. So definitely go to this shop, check out the link in the video description below and tell me what is like the luggage set that best matches your personal style. I think this one would be very popular for ladies, but there's some colors in there that would be great for men too. And I'm so curious to hear what you guys like. I also have one final thing to show you. I know that like everybody on YouTube talks about these things because well, we're all very passionate about them, those of us who travel a lot, because they are seriously a game changer. They're luggage cubes. They're really no big deal. They're really just like these little dinky nylon um, plasticky things that you pack your clothes in and then you pack your clothes in the luggage. And when I first heard about these, I was like, what is the point in that? Is that just so you can be hyper organized or whatever? But seriously, when you're traveling on a trip where you're not just going one place, unpacking, repacking, and going home. When you're constantly packing and unpacking and going through your stuff, 
you don't want to have to refold your clothes and repack everything each and every time. So with these luggage cubes, I will pack like, if I have like a dress that I want to wear one certain night or something that I'm going to wear, you know, on a fancy occasion, I'll put it in one cube and then kind of organize everything from there. So some cubes I'll be getting things in and out of every single day, but some cubes will just remain packed. So that way, at best, all you're dealing with is a bunch of cubes that you have to stick back in your luggage versus this entire explosion of clothing because that can be super annoying. And if you like things neat and organized like me, you're going to greatly appreciate um, luggage cubes. There's tons of them on Amazon. There's all different kinds, shapes, styles, and actually just not to like overstress the need to like buy luggage cubes. I'm going to show you what I used to use. I used to use this before I got some real ones. This is like just a plastic bag that I think like a pop-up hamper came in. <laughs> pop-up hampers are really good for music festivals um, to like throw away trash. Anyway, but yeah, it's just a plastic bag. I also had one that I had like um, sheets, like sheet sets would come in it. So I'm all about reduce, reuse, recycle. So if you can ever just accumulate like a plastic thing or even plastic Ziploc bags work. But if you're gonna buy plastic Ziploc bags, you might as well invest in some awesome luggage cubes. So this particular luggage cube set is by Massimo, kind of like Massimo without an M. And it also comes with a few, actually three, Laundry pouches. A laundry pouch is important. You're gonna wanna you know, put some laundry in something at some point and keep it separated from everything else in your bag. And there's three cubes, and there's, I guess, a bag to hold the cubes. I mean, they just, they put together these big packages because these things aren't expensive to begin with. Um, so I will put a link to these in the video description below. And of course, as I've told you before, all of the Amazon links are my affiliate links. So when you use them and make purchases on Amazon, you can purchase anything, not necessarily the products I recommend, there is a small percentage that gets filtered back to this channel to help support the video production on AMA TV so I can bring you more fabulous travel videos. And of course, it doesn't cost you anything extra to use my links. It's just the way Amazon works and Amazon's awesome. I'm really loving it a lot lately. And I think probably next week or maybe the week after, I'm gonna do an office video tour. I'm in my new office right now. I have worked from home for five years years and I've never had an office. So I'm so excited about it because I'm settled down in a home, an actual house here in San Diego, which I'm so excited about. I did so much crazy traveling last year. You probably caught the Philippines travel series or maybe some of the festival videos, Bonnaroo, Burning Man, just so much cool stuff. But I am really excited to be settled down for a little while in San Diego in this city that I love. And coming up, the office tour video, but I'm also gonna have a lot of uh, Southern California content because as much as I love traveling, love traveling, every time I'm away and then I come back here, I just realize how much I love it here. Love it here. And I've not showed it off nearly enough to you guys. So I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be coming up and I'm gonna have some major announcements coming up soon as well. So you'll just have to stay tuned for that. Um, but it was really good to see you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something about luggage or got some new ideas for your own carry-on configurations. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you like to cart your stuff around the world, what you carry on on a plane. Do you do a, a rolling laptop? Do you do a backpack? Are you one of those guys that just has a small briefcase and like a light sweater and you do international flights? I see people like that and I'm like, how do you do that? I mean, when I do an international flight, I need so many different things. Maybe I'll do a what's in my carry-on bag one of these days. Leave me a comment and let me know which other videos you'd like to see here on AMA TV. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and share it with your friends so they can find out where they can get great deals on designer luggage. Definitely check out that link and tell me which luggage you like best. Wow, you guys have a lot of assignments. <laughs> I look forward to reading your comments. I'm Alicia and I will see you guys next time. Bye!